Let's look at the future tense using will and be going to. So the first use with will is when we voluntarily offer to do something. So if someone says, it's hot in here, you might say, I will open the window, or I'll open the window, or I'll turn on the air conditioner. So we use will to respond to someone's complaint or a request for help. We use it to volunteer to do something, or we use the negative to refuse to do something. Um, I will not do your homework for you. Pause the video and read these sentences. The second use of will is to express a promise. I will call you when I arrive. Um, if I'm elected president, I will make sure everyone has access to health insurance. Don't worry, I'll be careful. Express a promise. Again, pause the video and read these sentences. We use be going to to express a plan. Remember the be verb has three forms, am, are, and is in the present tense. So um, we use be going to to show some type of intention for a future action. Again, we use this to express our plan. It doesn't matter if it's realistic or if it's imaginary. So he is, uh, they are, that's the be verb. So he's going to spend his vacation in Hawaii. That's his plan. I'm going to be an actor when I grow up. That's my plan. Please pause the video and read these sentence examples. We can use will or be going to when we are making a prediction. It's a guess about the future, and so we really don't know. But there's no difference between using will or be going to. Please pause the video and read these sentences. On the next page, you can practice writing the correct form of the verb using will or be going to with the verb given in parentheses.